name is Ziad Fayad. I'm part of the Einstein Analytics product team and today I'm going to show you complex conditional formatting and by complex I mean a complex statement behind the conditional formatting. Uh, in this example we have a client uh, uh, sorry account type and Arkansas means green uh, customer so customer Arkansas is green customer and Arizona is red everything else is yellow and you can take the same logic and apply it for um, you know other uh, use cases um, and note that this should a should say a Z I will correct it later but first I want to show you how we got here and um, essentially what you want to do is just create a step and let's again uh, group by type grouping by state counter rows is fine and then I notice that again no colors um, specific conditions so I'm gonna go to compare table clone this column and edit this column to create a uh, you know hidden let's say CF condition hidden Essentially, I'm just going to create a metric that I will use it to specify the uh, conditional formatting. And it can be a case statement. And if you don't know the exact API names of the fields, you can, sorry, you can use them from here. So case when account ID type is equal to, let's say, customer in this case. And second one is the state, account state. Notice some here this is the label that has been changed in the field fields and data sets xmd but the api name is actually account id dot billing state and equal to arkansas then one now i can just copy this Control copy and in this case arizona az then two else is three and that's it okay now we need end and uh, we'll hit apply and now I see one two and everything else three so I can hit close um, and then I can hide this and now I just use it for my conditional formatting now I can flip back let's say to a chart hit done and this is my new step again I did not name it always name your steps so you can easily find it and in this case I'm going to select this widget chart go to conditional formatting and select on hidden CF uh, by default it's gonna you know maybe pick a gradient I'm gonna pick a specific bin so remember the first value was one so it's anything less than two okay and I'm gonna give this a color oh this is the one customer and Arkansas and I think we call this green let's just use green for example okay and then hide the sub menu now this is only one and this is another I need one in between I'm gonna add bin and this one is two which is less than three and I think we gave it again maybe red or something like this customer and Arizona I'm gonna correct it the legend and the last one so you know we're done with this we can leave it the last one just you can keep it yellow or just change it but essentially as you can see we're done if you look here at this chart obviously preview okay I just switched the colors uh, no problem but it's the same concept well actually it is the same so I used a complex case statement to generate a metric one two three etc and then I use that metric to specify my conditional for many. So you can apply it to any other logical case. I did forget to call this another or others. So I can go back and conditional formatting. And you can call this others. And voila, you got this uh, as a conditional formatting using a complex case statement. Um, just a reminder, this is as of summer 18. Um, I hope this is helpful. Uh, it definitely can, you know, help in many use cases without reverting to any coding or JSON or, let's say, SACL, etc. So you can use this in the compare table, hidden metric, um, in addition to the hidden order, which we have another video on it. But definitely use it in these uh, cases. Thanks for watching.